um, you know, you talk about the transfer portal. I know you guys lost your leading scorer. Howard lost like four of their top leading scorers. Um, just asking coaches, uh, you know, across the league is just just kind of what you guys are coming to expect now. You guys find the diamonds in the rough and then you kind of try to hide them or, how you know, just how, you know, dealing with all of that. Uh, I know you've dealt with it for a long time, but it just seems like it's yeah. a year it's progressing. Yeah. Yeah, that's a great question, Steve. Um, you know, it's 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 crazy because this is a devil that we haven't dealt with before, right? And unfortunately, um, we're gonna get the short end of the sticks, low majors, mid majors, and so on and so forth. So uh, honestly, a lot of high majors just recruit off our teams. Um, it's always hurtful, to be honest, to invest into a kid who didn't have any scholarship offers. You find them as a diamond in the rough. You mold them and try to develop them, and they have successful years, and then they leave you for greener pastures, right? And so it's like, whoa, like, so the the more compass, um, the value system, that's taken, that's that's no longer in the game of basketball. It's a straight business now, and so um, we've become general managers instead of coaches. And it's taken the spirit out of college basketball, in all honesty with you. Um, I'm not complaining because I'll adjust to anything. I'm, this is what we've done. But, you know, I, I challenge you to look at senior nights across the country this upcoming year and see how many kids are actually emotional on senior nights. You're never going to have that kid. I remember on senior night, I, I went up there and I, I, I cried. I couldn't believe this was the last game in this arena. And I was so thankful for what North Carolina Central did for me as a young man that developed me into a holistic totality of a man. Um, and so I shed a tears, you know, you're not going to see that emotion anymore because no one is um, invested in that anymore. It's just like, look, I'm taking the best opportunity that I can possibly receive. And, you know, there's no way to hide them, right? Because you got to win basketball games. So, you know, you got to re-recruit your entire team. Um, every year, and then you got to re-recruit your best players because you know there's tampering. Um, you know there's high major coaches um, hitting up their AAU coaches and high school coaches, and they're selling you out behind your back. So it's just, I I, I don't want to say this, but I use this analogy because I grew up, I'm a housing project kid, right? So I remember the drug epidemic. It reminds me of when crack cocaine hit the streets when I was a kid. Right. And that it just it just for lack of better analogy, that's exactly what this thing reminds me of. It's the wild, wild west. There's no rules. There's no values. There's no trust. There's no integrity. Um, no one is standing on their word anymore. So it's just it's just chaotic. And we're experiencing that all across the board. 